Hi, I'm Mr. McKinnon, and today I'm going to go over some activities that you can do to work on or practice your skill of kicking. So, when we're going to kick, we can use a variety of objects. Today we're going to use three different types of objects. We can use a ball, a balloon, and just a whole bunch of grocery bags. So I just piled a whole bunch of grocery bags into this one grocery bag. Okay, and you can use that, which works great for an indoor soccer ball, which hopefully will not break anything. Please make sure you check with your parents before you start to do any kicking skills to make sure that you're in a safe space where you will not break anything inside your house. If you can go outside, that would be the best spot. So for the skills of kicking, what we want to remember to do is with the ball or object in front of us, first thing we're going to do, eye on the target, okay? Then what we're going to do is we are going to kick, or sorry, not kick, step with our opposite foot beside the ball, okay? We don't want to step behind it or else we'll only be kicking with the tip of our foot or the toe of our foot. So we want to make sure we step beside the ball. Then I want to make sure I come in with my knee over top of the ball and I want to kick with the shoelaces part of my shoe, not the toe. So I don't want to make connection with the toe. So I'm here looking. I like to put same hand up as the same foot I'm kicking with. So eye on the ball, step beside the ball, knee over top of the ball, shoelaces contact with the ball. I like to bring my hand down when I kick and then I follow through. So it would look like this beside the ball, step and kick. One more, step and kick. So for our first activity, we are gonna do is keep it up with a balloon. So you can start off just doing this by yourself, seeing how many times can you just kick the balloon and keep it up in the air. You could use your knees if you want, or just your feet, and counting how many times you can keep that balloon before it hits the floor. And then you can try again. You can do this with a partner too, where you kick the balloon back and forth from one person to another person, and that way you can include a friend or a family member. If you're inside, put a bunch of grocery bags into one, or you can use maybe some paper in there. So you make kind of like a nice round ball, put it on the floor, okay? You're gonna be sitting here, looking, practicing your kicking, stepping beside, and giving it a nice kick. All right, so we'll see you one more time. Eye on the ball, step beside the ball, kick shoelaces, and a nice kick. For our next activity, we're gonna do kick and count. So if you can get a balloon, you could try the grocery bags, but it'll probably fall pretty fast. So with a balloon on the ground here, I'm gonna kick the balloon into the air, and I'm gonna count how long it takes before it hits the ground. So I'm here, I kick, one, two, three, and it hit the ground. Bring it back, see if I can get a little higher. One, two, three, four, and it hit the ground. So that's another activity. If you can go outside, take your balloon outside, you'll get a little more height, it won't hit a ceiling or anything, or if you have maybe a higher roof somewhere in your house or a higher ceiling in your house, you can do it in that area also, okay? But check with your parents, make sure it's okay that you do this first. The next activity you're gonna do is you can get a partner or an object, maybe a stuffed animal, a pile on something, and put it on the ground. And what you're going to do is you're gonna start off here, you're gonna kick your balloon up into the air and you have to run around the object and back before this balloon hits the ground. So I would go, kick, quick run around and see if I can get back to where I started before that balloon touches the ground. So I'll show you one more time. Here, give it a good kick, race around and back to my spot before the balloon touches the ground. And you could do a quick little game, maybe with a member of your family to have a competition See who can make it around and back to the start before the balloon hits the ground. You could switch up the distance of how far the bag is set out. You can make it shorter, you can make it longer, all right? But anyways, here's, those are some activities you can try at home while practicing your skill of kicking. Thank you.